Morning guys, welcome back. So this morning we have a brand new student named Tsukurfi. It's uh, translated into Sugar Fairy. Her nickname is Pomo, which means um, it's a little cute cartoon character who's kind of a little bit of a fat unicorn, um, which suits her perfectly because she is a unicorn. She's wonderful. She's five years old. Um, I think she's Zach, and now I can't remember the mother line, but she's a wonderful five-year-old that Michael's asked me to ride a little bit, and she is a really interesting horse in a couple of ways that I thought I wanted to share with you guys. Number one, she's super normal in her natural crookedness. So what that means is like, um, she's kind of always falling a little bit, you know, she's always a little bit curved left, so she always wants to like fall into the right shoulder and be a little bit like against my right leg and not really know how to sort of like pop up this left side of her wither. So I thought it would be a great um, yeah, example to show in that. And also like, how do you get a horse like this? She's got a beautiful long neck, but we wanna talk a little bit to her about how she can continue to like pull her neck out of her withers to really create this long round bascule that will eventually lead me to the gateway to her low back. So I just basically got on. I did a little bit of walking. I did do one little trot around, but I thought it would be great um, to kind of show you guys if you have a horse with this long neck, you know, how we can help build not only that straightness, but a little bit like roundness over that top line. So even while I'm walking, you can see she wants to keep her face a little bit to the left and the right shoulder falling out. So even while I warm up a little bit, I just ask a little bit like counter flexion idea that I can yield her a little bit off my right leg. Continually feeling also these like square turns a little bit to the left because I feel once I get to canter, um, she's in a real twisted pretzel. And so I can't really move the shoulders to the left really at all once I get to the canter. So I like to start that conversation a little bit already you know, in the walk, then I, can I, with your wither up, like, can I move your withers around? Can I put your shoulders in front of your hips? Of course, she needs to get more, like, laterally supple, uh, also responding better to the inside leg. Um, but I like this ability to kind of, like, be able to move her shoulders around, as well as teach her how to become a little bit longer. She's got a little bit this bump right here at her second vertebrae. And so what we want to help her always continue to do is really pull that neck out of her withers. Yeah. 